So for a long time, IT organisations have been helping businesses respond to new technology challenges, be it mobile, analytics or cloud. But the pace of change and the pervasiveness of technology across the business is causing new business models to be considered. And so for any IT organisation, the time I think now is to really turn that change onto themselves and think about new delivery models and the way to drive business outcomes for the businesses they serve. So we typically expect a CIO to approach this with a two-pronged approach. Firstly, from the bottom up, a big focus on continuing to push flexible and scalable infrastructures, moving the architecture to a more open, loosely coupled and, and scalable architecture. A big push on automation, continuing to think about re-engineering the activities and tasks within the IT operations function. And then finally, a continued focus around paying down technical debt. And paying down technical debt particularly so that savings made can be reinvested in innovation across the business. And from the top down, CIOs have the real opportunity to reimagine the operating model of their function, thinking about the way they allocate budgets, organise themselves, processes um, and skills that are going to need across their organisation. Building a new operating model to really take advantage of the bottom-up improvements that have been driven, thinking about the way the organisation is structured, breaking down silos, bringing together multidisciplinary teams to really focus on business outcomes and to drive innovation. As the IT organisation re-engineers around outcomes, the CIO has the opportunity to redevelop the way that budgeting is done, shifting the emphasis away from projects and much more to business outcomes, for example customer experience, gives the CIO leeway to divert and move valuable resources in response to changing business demands that are focused on strategic outcomes. So indeed, it's an ambitious transformation to re-engineer the, the way that technology is delivered. But some of the big challenges is, I guess, firstly, being realistic about what you can take on, finding the right balance of continuing to support the demands and needs of the business today, at the same time as driving the change, both from the bottom up and from the top down. Secondly, be clear about the change that this means to the people of your organisation. This is a big shift in skills and capabilities. Some people will look forward to that change, whilst others will be apprehensive of it. And I guess bringing everybody on that journey and showing the benefits, driving incremental progress are all key factors for, for getting through the challenges that this transformation presents. Mm -hmm.